Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GIS World channel. In this video, I would like to show you how to configure the chat GPT uh, or Q chat GPT inside the QGIS and after that, you know, checking some functionality in it. So first of all, we must, you know, install the chat the Q chat GPT plugin uh, inside the QGIS with the going to the manage and install the plugin and setting to the Q chat GPT. And you see it's a plugin integration between the QGIS and OpenAI API. And you see some information in it. I already installed this one in my machine, so you can install by yourself. But please keep it in mind that some Python packages are required to use in the plugin, like OpenAI speech recognition, Pi IDEO, but I will write down uh, in the description section and you can uh, use it. So after installation, this is the time to open the QJet GPT plugin and we have two options again, uh, open the QJet GPT here or from here to this toolbar and just, just opening and you see the chat GPT and first of all, we must, you know, configure the setting and we have, you know, some by default information here and uh, I do recommend do not touch it if we could, but we need uh, here use your API key and this is exactly you have definitely the account inside the uh, chat GPT and we need uh, your API key and you must copy paste to here and after that you can use this functionality exactly like the chat GPT the normal chat GPT so and here uh, it's a chat that it's a general image QGIS and I will uh, consider as in, in the QGIS and we will start the project I already added uh, you know that this Germany administrative uh, boundaries and uh, some uh, and the city and uh, city boundaries in the Germany and open street map as you see and so let's start so first of all let's check you know some kind of you know functionality in chat GPT how it's work maybe as you see here uh, here we have for example 16 state in the Germany and let's see if chat GPT can count such a things or uh, it just uh, you know suggest us how we can count it so uh, maybe I can write, um, could you please count the feature in this layer? So, ADM1. And so, let's see the answer. So, as you see here, maybe most of you thought uh, the result will be okay, it will be written here 16, but it's not like this. And uh, chat GPT suggests uh, how we can uh, do this process and to get this this result and uh, so let's check for example uh, we already know how to uh, add this uh, feature count is a, a easy thing here show feature count and so let's ask him how to add how uh, to add a, a shape file shape file in QGIS and let's follow if it's if it's a correct way or not. So, so you see, open your QGIS project and open the layer menu. Uh, uh, as we know already, the add layer is a very simple thing. So it means it it, it is like a book. It's a, exactly like an internet, but it's uh, accordingly to the to the QGIS uh, functionality. And after that, uh, so it means you can open your QGIS file. And it's a very nice option for the beginner. Uh, how to do the project uh, alone and without uh, too much uh, knowledge and just uh, following from here instead of the opening another page so if we follow the, the layer uh, add layer add vector layer and after that you see the browse and we can uh, add the vector layer so let's continue with uh, some sophisticated uh, tasks inside the uh, chat GPT and uh, let, let's check for example we would like to find uh, uh, each center uh, center point in each polygon so we have you see here we have over 400 uh, cities here and they are not in the not a really re regular shape and let's ask uh, the chat GPT uh, how we can find the center point in this uh, uh, polygon and so let's see what is the answer as you see here it's a human and after that we have the the answer from ai you know you, you must first of all select the polygon layer in the layer panel and after that vector menu select geometry tool and centroid so it means at the end 
so this is uh, this is answer of our question uh, how to save them as a json file and go to layer save as and the format can be uh, chosen there so it means uh, if we follow this uh, so first of all we must go to the vector and after that geometry tool and you see the sensor and this is exactly what the chat cpt uh, uh, told us and here is a so let's uh, choose this one it is city and you know after that uh, we have this option to save it uh, here it will uh, create a temporary layer which is enough for us but if you would like to, to save somewhere else and after that uh, the out uh, output can be saved as a json file and if we just go on so you see we have the centroid uh, from this so the chat gpt didn't create for us uh, like a, you know in the geometry inside the qgis but chat gpt told us how we can do it in the you know in the fastest way so let's continue with the uh, a part which is interesting for the beginner uh, in the programming part pyqgs and python and let's ask chat gpt and i think this part is the most uh, the best part and most strong uh, strongest part uh, in the in chat gpt you know to take some advantages uh, for the programming so for example we will ask chat gpt how to add a vector layer in qgis with python so let's see what is the answer and definitely we, we would have the python code here so you see we have this python code and it seems nice you know import qgs module from so it is uh, from here we have the you know uh, from the pyqg what kind of you know qgs modules uh, are important and after that you see they create a vector layer which is really nice to know what uh, what is the role of this uh, this line and it's uh, for example passed to your vector file and at the end add the vector layer to the project so let's uh, check it uh, if it's correct or not so let's let's take the code what uh, we have from the uh, chat gpt and copy in our uh, python console so let's go to the plugin and python console you see here and make it a little bigger i already paste it here and you see i define here the path of a uh, shapefile and after that this the name of the shapefile but you will learn in future in our channel uh, the programming exactly python programming with the pyqgs inside the qgis and after that uh, adding a layer to the qgis canvas and uh, by running so you see the uh, the code is uh, working and we have the result which is added uh, inside the uh, qgis so it was a short explanation and discovering in QGIS GPT inside uh, QGIS as a plugin. So uh, I hope you enjoy and if you have any question regarding installation and some, some other function, please ask us in the comment section and we will answer you as soon as possible. And please share your idea what, what is the, the, another uh, function or capability of the chat GPT and please uh, share your knowledge uh, with uh, all of us. So please subscribe our channel and please do a like and uh, share this video with into your uh, network and community uh, for better education in all of the world. Thank you very much and see you soon.